Hello friends, I'm Hannah. Uh, this is Jack the cat and welcome to your daily sadhana. Um, today we're going to do a bit of a slower flow. I've been really leaning into the fall energy. It's kind of cold outside today. I've been feeling a little a little relaxed um, and I kind of want to lean that way. So if you're craving a slower flow, we'll start with a bit of a faster warm up, and then we'll move into just some longer holds. And hopefully this flow helps you to feel grounded and a little bit on the softer side, more relaxed. Um, I have a bolster here and two blocks. You're welcome to grab pillows if you have them, if you have a bolster at home. Um, if you have any yoga blocks, I like to have all the props, but water bottles as blocks and pillows as bolsters work just as well. So feel free to go ahead and grab some props and we'll get started in child's pose when you're ready. You can bring the big toes together to touch. Take a minute to send your knees out wide and then kind of adjust here to get comfortable. Set your hips back over your heels and slowly crawl your hands forward towards the top of your mat. Rest your forehead down on the ground. Soften into the shape. Notice the weight of your hips. Maybe you feel some sensation through your inner thighs. If there's too much sensation, you can crawl your knees a little closer together. If you'd like a little more stretch, you can walk your knees further apart. And then extend your arms forward towards the top of your mat. Maybe rock your forehead from side to side. And continue to just adjust the shape to work for you. Make the shifts that you need. If you have a pillow, you can place your head onto the pillow. And start to draw a little more awareness to your breath and your child's pose. Before starting to take any more deep, longer breaths, just begin to shift awareness. That's the most important tool for me personally to become present, to become aware. And take a big breath in through your nose, fill up your belly. Open mouth, exhale, let the breath go. <sighs> Feel free to make some noise with your breath in through your nose. Relaxing, sigh out, ah, let it go. And we'll take one more like that. Take an inhale, fill up. And full sigh, exhale. You can start to breathe steadily in through your nose and out through your nose. And notice if your breath starts to get choppy. That's a sign to slow things down, maybe to back off, to rest. On your next breath in, crawl forward to tabletop. Find your hands and knees. And we'll move around through cat-cow a few times. Inhale to cow pose. Drop your belly down towards the ground. Lift your gaze, press into your palms, and then draw your shoulders back down to expand your chest. Take a breath in, lift your gaze a little higher. Exhale, cat, round your spine. Where's Jack? Oh, he's, he's gone away. He's going to have Jack do cat pose with me. On your inhale, drop your belly low, cow pose. And exhale, cat, round your spine. Push into your hands and then feel that puff up through the space of your shoulder blades or right between your shoulder blades. One more round here. Inhale, cow pose. Exhale, cat, round, press. And come back to tabletop and then flip your toes so the balls of your feet are planted down. Slowly scoop your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Your hips go high and then allow your heels to become heavy even if they don't touch the ground. Relax the crown of your head between your shoulders. Press into your hands. If this is too much for you, you're welcome to just stay in tabletop hands and knees. If you're in downward facing dog, feel free to start to pedal your feet a few times, bend deeply into one knee and the other, wag your hips from side to side. 
And scoop your tailbone a little higher towards the ceiling. Bend your knees to create more length in your spine. Breathe into the space. And slow breath out. As you inhale, look forward to the top of your mat. Exhale, lower your knees down to the ground. Inhale, standing on your knees. Lift your shoulders to stack over your hips and go ahead and reach your arms over your head. So we're kind of in a kneeling mountain pose with your arms high. Pivot your palms to face in, relax through your shoulders. And then if it feels good or if you want a little more activation in your legs, feel free to bring a block or a pillow right in between your thighs. Take an inhale, lift your gaze. Exhale, side bend over to the right. Lean your body up and over. Reach your left arm over your head. Roll your left shoulder back and then settle your gaze right underneath your left shoulder. Inhale back through center. Reach your arms over your head. Slight engagement of your obliques to lift back. And exhale, side bend over to the left. Send your right arm up and over. Get longer through your right side body with every inhale. And roll your right shoulder back. Inhale, come back through the center. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Anjali Mudra, pause here. Maybe you close your eyes or soften your gaze. One round of breath together in through your nose. And out, let it go. Inhale, extend your arms over your head. Exhale, bring your hands down to the ground. Tabletop to downward facing dog. Lift your hips up and back. Hi, buddy. Pedal out through your feet. Press into your hands. <laughs> and from your downward facing dog, send your gaze in between your thumbs. Exhale, lower your knees down to the ground. Find tabletop. On your breath in, extend your arms overhead. Reach high. Exhale, side bend to the right, lean up and over. Try not to force into this pose. You're welcome to bring a block underneath your right hand or anything that helps bring the ground a little closer to you. Come back through the middle, breathe and reach high. And exhale, maybe take a block underneath your left hand or something that helps bring the ground closer, take a side bend. Come back through center, inhale, gaze up, lift your chest. Exhale, hands to your heart center. Take a breath in and a breath out. Reach high, inhale. Exhale, tabletop to downward facing dog. Let's add on a bit from here. Look in between your hands, breathe in. Exhale, step to the top of your mat. You can tiptoe or step one foot and then the other. Meet in ragdoll forward fold. Grab for opposite elbows. Allow your upper body to hang heavy. Bend through your knees. And feel free to take slow sways back and forth. Breathe into the movement here. What I mean by that is um, as you start to lift away from the ground in any way, maybe it's an inhale. And then as you start to contract or lower down towards the ground, find an exhale. Notice what it feels like to really connect breath to movement. From your ragdoll, you can release your hands down to the ground. Slowly unroll your spine one vertebra at a time. Rise up to standing. Inhale, extend arms overhead or the hasasana, gaze up. Exhale, forward fold, release. Inhale to halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana, lengthen your spine, bring your hands to your shins. And exhale, plank pose, step back either to your knees or the balls of your feet. From your plank pose, you're welcome to simply press your hips back to downward facing dog. Or let's warm up a little more. Inhale, shift your shoulders forward past your wrists. Exhale, low plank, hug your elbows in, hover your chest. Inhale, upward facing dog, lift your chest. Keep your thighs lifted away from the ground. And exhale, downward facing dog, send your hips back. We'll take this two more times just to warm up the body before we start to slow down. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward fold, step or hop to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise up, reach high. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. 
and exhale your high to low plank, Chaturanga Dandasana. Again, you're welcome to simply press your hips back or take a tabletop instead. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe and look forward. Exhale, top of your mat, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Start to rise and stand, breathe in. Exhale, fold, let it go. Inhale, halfway lift, follow your pace of breath. Exhale, Chaturanga, high to low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog, Urdhva Mukha Svanasana. Exhale, downward facing dog, press your hips back. Pause, let it settle for just a moment. Maybe this is the first time today or this week that you've moved your body in this way. Just become aware of how it serves you. Maybe it's the first time this week, today, that you've drawn more awareness to your breath. And notice how it serves you. Notice the impact. Notice the effect. From your downward facing dog, inhale, three-legged dog. Lift your right leg high, flex your toes, then point your toes. Flex, point. Continue to firm up your right glute to lift your heel a little higher. Reflex into your right foot, take a breath in, and exhale, step your right foot in between your hands. Lower your back knee down to the ground. If you have blocks, you can bring them to frame your hips. And then take a low crescent lunge with your hands on your right thigh. The hands on the thigh help to deepen the stretch a little bit so you're feeling more extension through your left hip. Lean forward. Press into your right foot. Feel free to lift your gaze up to stretch your throat. Two rounds of breath. It's important to notice what comes up when you're still in different poses. It just helps to bring more clarity to your practice. I know it's not always easy to stay still, um, but know that you're never stuck. You can always adjust, you can always move as needed. Take an inhale from here, and then exhale, shift your hips back to half splits. Fold over your right leg. I like to bring my hands onto the blocks as it helps me to slowly ease my way into the pose. Breathe here. And for you, the stillness might feel really grounding. It might feel really good. Maybe for you, the stillness brings things up. How can you breathe through it? Breathe through whatever is coming up. Maybe take some big exhales to let it go. Maybe you bend your right knee a little more to back off of the sensation. And come forward back to your low crescent lunge. Keep your back knee down. Inhale, reach your arms over your head. And then exhale, plant your hands down to the mat. Tuck your right foot back, find tabletop, hands and knees. From your tabletop, inhale, lengthen your left arm high, look up to your left hand. And exhale, thread the needle, send your left arm underneath your right shoulder. Dip your left shoulder down to the mat. And then lengthen your right hand forward. Roll more weight onto your left shoulder head. Rest your left cheek down onto the mat. If you'd like some more sensation here, you can stamp your right foot off to the side, kind of in line with your left hand. And then think warrior two in your right foot. So seal the whole foot down. Keep your hips stacked on top of your left knee. Breathe. Oftentimes I notice that when I've been really busy and kind of running around all day, the stillness does not come easy. It's because my brain is in that like um, kind of fight or flight mode, just like running around and feeling that chaotic energy. And I know the stillness is going to help me to counterbalance, to counteract that crazy um, busyness, the buzz that we so often find ourselves in. To come out of this pose, first set your knee next to your left if you extended your right foot. Plant your right hand down on the mat. Inhale, lift your left arm high, gaze up to it. 
Exhale, tabletop to downward facing dog. Lift your hips up and back. Maybe pedal your feet a few times. And we'll take the same thing on the left. Inhale, lengthen your left leg high. Three-legged down dog. Point and flex your left foot a few times. Continue to push into your hands to protect your wrists. And then lift your left heel a little higher. Breathe in. Exhale, lunge. Step your left foot between your hands. Lower your back knee down to the ground. If your blocks made their way forward, bring them to frame your hips again. And then in your low crescent lunge, bring your hands onto the top of your left thigh. Lean forward a bit to stretch out through your right hip flexor, your right quad. A few rounds of breath here. about trusting the process. I like to think of um, finding balance in my day as a little tree. I was speaking to this in class the other day. From your low crescent lunge, let's shift back to half splits. Um, so in class the other day, I gave this analogy of like a little tree that you've just planted and it's um, really small and fragile and a big windstorm comes through and blows it down in one direction. Um, you want to upright the tree so you go outside and you press it back up from the other side. You don't just continue to push it down towards the ground because then it would fall over. Um, and we have to treat ourselves in that same way. So if you've been in that busy, chaotic, buzzy energy a lot lately, go in the other direction, slow things down. Give yourself this space to be still, to rest. I know it's really hard to find it sometimes because we are so busy. Life keeps moving, but can you give yourself permission, just five minutes of rest, five minutes of stillness. From half splits, come forward back into your low crescent lunge. Inhale, reach your arms high overhead. Exhale, plant your hands down. Step your left knee back to meet your right for tabletop. And this time, keep your left hand grounded. Inhale, extend your right arm high. Exhale, thread the needle, send your right shoulder down to the ground, dip your right cheek down, and extend your left arm forward towards the front of your space. And if you want more sensation in your legs, you can stamp your left foot off to the side, just holding my sweater out of the way so it doesn't get in the way of the mic and cause lots of like scritchy sounds for you all. But you can bring the back of your left uh, right hand to, to the ground and just start to breathe here. Find the stillness, find the calm. Stillness does not always have to happen in the body. It can happen um, with the breath. It can happen when you close your eyes, even if you're moving a little. Bring your left hand back underneath your left shoulder. Step your left knee to meet your right. Inhale, reach your right arm high, look up. And exhale, back to tabletop. Find your hands and knees. Send your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Press into your palms, lift your hips high. Pedal your feet a few times. And take a breath in through your nose. A big breath out through your mouth, let it go. Inhale, three-legged dog, lift your right leg high. Exhale, low lunge, step your right foot in between your hands. And this time, pivot your feet to face the left side of your space. Wide-legged forward fold, hinge at your hips. Relax through the crown of your head. And you're welcome to join me by taking a few spinal twists here. Keep your left hand planted. Inhale, right arm lifts, twist open to the right. Exhale, bring your right hand down to the ground. Inhale, left arm lifts, gaze up. Exhale, lower your left hand down. We'll take this one more on each side. Inhale, lift, maybe bend your right knee a bit. Exhale, right hand lowers. Left arm lifts, breathe in, bend into your left knee. Exhale, wide-legged forward fold. If you've taken my other sequence, we did this next transition before. So halfway lift your spine, bring your hands under your shoulders, and then pivot 
towards the front of your mat and cross your knees all the way around. Right knee will be stacked over your left. Gomukhasana, cow face pose. So your right knee is on top of your left. And then I'm going to grab onto my bolster. You can grab onto a pillow or blocks. And I'm gonna make a little tower here with the block. So bolster on the bottom, block, block. From there, I'm gonna fold forward and rest my forehead onto the blocks. So if you'd like to join me, find whatever it is that you can stack and then fold forward to rest your forehead down and breathe. Let gravity do its thing here. With every exhale, deepen. And even now, I don't know if you can relate to this, but I can feel my body like wanting to move, wanting to fidget, wanting to shift, wanting to come out of the pose. And it's not so much like a discomfort or a pain that I'm feeling. That's like my body telling me I'm gone too far. I'm stretching too far. It's more so just like, yeah, I want to move. And I, I will. I will move, right? I'll get that movement. I've been getting it all day. I've had a very busy, long day. And I need to honor this breath and honor this stillness, this quiet. It's like hitting pause when you slow things down. So if you're in that same headspace today, let's commit to three more breaths together. And with every breath, you might notice that urge to move, that urge to shift starts to soften, starts to move kind of to the background. After your third breath, begin to lift your chest up, unbuild your stack of objects and then maybe just put them off over to the left side so you can easily reach for them next time. To get out of this, bring your hands to the front of your mat, plant your feet down, and twist back to wide-legged forward fold. You'll halfway lift through your spine, and then exhale, plant your hands at the top of your mat, step your right foot back, downward facing dog. Inhale your left leg high, three-legged dog. Exhale, low lunge, step your foot in between your hands, your left foot will step forward. Start to pivot over to the right side of your mat, Asurita Padottanasana. And then this time, in your wide legged forward fold. Face your toes out, set your hips low. Sit low and then step your butt back parallel, your chest down to the mat. And bring, I'm just going to turn to face you. Bring your elbows to face the insides of your knees and then press back to open your hips. Sway from side to side. Maybe shake your hands out, your wrists out to relax through your forearms. You can kind of rock your chin from side to side to loosen through your neck and shoulders. And then back to your wide-legged forward fold. I'm going to turn back around. From wide-legged forward fold with your left foot forward, take a halfway lift. Inhale. And exhale. Press to the front of your mat. Pivot around on your feet. Your left knee will land stacked on top. Right knee will stack underneath for cow face pose, Gomukhasana. And let's build our little tower again. Mine's going to be taller on this side because... My left hip is not as open as my right, so I'm gonna bring the block to a higher setting than it was on the other side. So just honor the differences in your sides. And then go ahead and melt into the forward fold. Rest your forehead onto whatever it is that will hold you up. Breathe. Maybe you start to notice that shift. That shift of fast-paced, busy, holding fire to the softer side. Deeper, longer breaths. 
Maybe your physical body starts to feel a little bit heavier. Three more rounds of breath here. Start to lift your chest. Way to stay in it, my friends. Remove your little stack off to the side. Bring your hands to the front of your mat. Plant both feet down. Untwist back to wide-legged And half of up your spine. Inhale. Exhale. Plant your hands. Low lunge at the front of your mat. Back to downward facing dog. Step your left foot to meet your right. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, lower your knees down to the ground. Sit back onto your heels. Find a pillow, bolster, and go ahead and put it onto your mat behind you. And then lay onto it. So I'm putting it the long way. If you want to, you can put your pillow just kind of a um, long way or horizontal hamburger, hot dog, whatever you prefer, and then lay back onto it. It might feel good to put pillows or blocks underneath your knees. I'm gonna do that. And then bring your palms to face up by your sides. Let your shoulders round around the pillow or the bolster. Close your eyes, relax your jaw. And be here. Be right here. The thoughts might start to come in. For me, it's always like the duties around the house. It's like, what am I doing right here? I'm just laying on the ground. I could be doing something else. Um, you could also be resting. You could also be doing exactly this. Give yourself permission to rest. I promise you five minutes, 10 minutes, it's not gonna make a huge difference. Soften the space between your eyebrows. Relax your jaw. I'll be here for the next few moments. When my mind starts to wander, I do tend to do a full body scan. So I'll guide you through that here while you're here to keep you rooted in this space. Draw your awareness to the crown of your head. And down into your forehead, the space between your eyebrows. Notice if there's any lifting of your eyebrows or squinting or scrunching of your face. If so, relax, let your ears get heavy. Let your jaw soften. Relax your eyelids. Separate your top teeth from your bottom teeth. And then draw your awareness down to your shoulders where we, a lot of us tend to hold the tension. Literally drop your shoulders down, wiggle them down away from your ears. Notice a gentle rise and fall of your chest as the breath naturally flows in and out. Notice the rise and fall of your belly. Bring your awareness back up through your chest and your shoulders down into your forearms, the backs of your hands, your fingertips. Give them a little 
gentle wiggle. And then let them feel really heavy, really rooted. Bring your awareness back up through your arms, down through your chest, your belly, into your hips, your pelvis. What's it resting on? Trust that, that whatever it is that it's resting on will hold the weight. There's no need to hold any tension in your hips and your pelvis. Feel it melting into the ground beneath you. And then send your awareness down into your quads, your upper legs. Down into your knee joints, your calf muscles, your ankles, all the way into the soles of your feet to your toes. What does it feel like to fully soften, to almost melt, to be held by the earth beneath you, to be held by the props beneath you? And you're welcome to stay right here for as long as you have. If you're ready to resume your day, before taking any, taking any movements, just start to deepen your breath. And find some gratitude. Maybe it's the gratitude for the time that you took for yourself. Maybe it's the gratitude for the pillows that you have or the props that you found. Maybe it's the gratitude for the rest, for the breath, for your body, for your spirit. Now start to bring Gentle movement back into your fingers, your toes. Rock your chin from side to side. And if you're laying onto a pillow, invite you to roll over onto your left side for fetal pose. Move any props out of the way. And use your left bicep as a pillow. Pause in fetal pose to notice the impact of the stillness, the movement, the breath. And once more, say thank you to yourself for showing up. And start to press up to a seated position. And once you're seated, you can cross your legs or sit back onto your heels. Close your eyes or soften your gaze. Bring your hands together at your heart center. Remember what it feels like to rest. Remember what it feels like to pause, to find stillness. Maybe next time when you feel that busy, busy, buzzy, buzzy energy, you take a few moments just to breathe, to sit, to rest. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. Um, I wish I could see all of you. Let me know what you thought of this flow. Um, I had in mind that I was gonna do something a little more fiery, a little faster paced, but I just decided since I have been feeling so busy, and like I've been running around today, I thought I would try something in the opposite direction. So I hope that it helped you to feel a little sense of calm. Um, let me know your thoughts if you have any questions on anything we did or um, maybe prop inspiration if you don't have the yoga props at hand. Let me know. And my name is Hannah once again. Thank you for joining. I will see you next time.